Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing. We're in the tour van today. We've got a couple of new Fairway Woods for 2021 from Callaway, the Epic Speed and the Epic Max. Uh, so two different options, but um, certainly going to be high performers for golfers in 2021. So um, Thomas, we'll get you to hit a few shots with each, maybe look at some data, get your feedback on how they look and feel as well. Um, but you know, you've got uh, one of them in your hand. Um, give me the you know, first synopsis of what uh, these models look like and what we'll expect out of testing and what you think they'll, how, they're, how they will perform. Yeah, so we initially have some, had some clubs sent to us to hit with so we can get this out in time. So I do have the Epic Speed 3-wood and I have the Epic Max 5-wood. Okay. So it won't be a, really a comparison between the two models. Um, but there is some adjustability that still goes on with the Epic Max. The Epic Speed essentially has some fixed weight, essentially, mm -hmm. and, and not really adjustable hose, no adjustable hose or anything like that. Okay. It's just is kind of what it is. Where the Epic Max, you can adjust the weight back and forth, the center of gravity, essentially, there okay. too. So it's a little more adjustable, kind of looking down at the two of them. Now keep in mind, this is a three wood versus a five wood, but the Epic Speed just looks like just slightly kind of was slight more players club where the Epic Max is maybe just a little bit a little mm -hmm. bit more forgiving kind of looking down at the two of them. Yeah, maybe a larger footprint for the Epic Max uh, yep. designed, you know, and that's that, that's how you know uh, manufacturers design the different woods is you know the larger footprint uh, has more weight or behind the club face. Uh, and that kind of drops down center gravity also brings that back to kind of add forgiveness MOI. And so you'll see that difference here, I think, with the Epic Speed Fairywood, which you can see that weight on the sole um, of the Epic Speed is towards the club face, kind of at the front of the club head there, which yep. keeps that center of gravity forward and offers you know, a more penetrating lower ball flight. Might not be um, as forgiving in terms of you know, your left to right movement or right to left movement, but it does offer a lower ball flight. So that's gonna be the difference between those two. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is an initial introduction to, to these yeah. lines where we can't wait to get the fitting components so we can kind of test them all right. against each other, mm -hmm. essentially. But the good news is, same golf shaft. So we, we're gonna be testing with the Hazardous Smoke IM10 golf shaft, so 6.0, 60 gram golf shaft there okay. too. So at least we get to test with the same, same golf shaft comparing the two of them. We'll just notice the Epic Max being a five wood, yeah. probably got a little higher, spin a little bit more. We'll probably play around with the weight a little bit though. Maybe yeah, we we'll, can do that. We'll switch those weights around a little bit and then we'll hit the Epic Max 3, get some initial feedback on the club. Nice, yeah, I'm excited for this one. I know we'll talk some, uh, some tech stuff too, kind of what goes in um, with the artificial intelligence that Callaway continues to use and continues to be awesome for them. So uh, what are we starting with here, Thomas? Yeah, let's, let's, start with the, let's start with the Epic Speed. Okay, let's start with the Epic Speed, which is the sort of lower spinning of the two. Um, now, out of three wood, um, for you, that's, is that 15 degrees of loft? Yep, this has got 15 degrees loft to keep in mind. It's got yeah. the, the fixed mm -hmm. bonded um, hosel there too. Okay. So not adjustable, but 15 degrees of loft on the three wood. Okay. Yep. All right, yep. And we'll see what we get here. I know I kind of have an idea of what the numbers for you in a three wood typically are. So, um, but why don't we get started here at some shots? Yeah, sounds good. Well, I can't hit that thing any straighter. That is a very straight ball flight. That is, oh my, is, literally zero feet of curve. Yeah, that was... Uh, right there, zero feet of curve. That was really, really straight. There we go. Ooh, there's that draw. Yep. That spin rate on that second shot just dropped by about 400 RPMs, and you can just mm -hmm. kind of notice the difference, what, what happened there. The height kind of dropped just a little bit on it. Spin drop, total distance went up. Yep. 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 Very nice. Yeah. Little baby drawer again. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, you're pretty accurate in terms of carrying it about 260 and then it rolls out to about 280, give or take. Yep. And I mean, quickly I can just bring this up. You can see how consistent that carry is after four shots and we're talking about a three wood that's going 260 yards in the air so keeping it that consistent is mighty impressive uh, so far and that's 
I mean, kudos to Callaway. Kudos to you for swinging it like that, but also <laughs> kudos to Callaway for giving spin, that consistency yeah. there. When even we've had varying spin numbers from low three three thousands to I think thirty four or thirty five, so it's still maintaining its distance. Yeah, and spin consistency, carry distance consistency is very very important in fairways and hybrids. Mm -hmm. so I always kind of say that, and a lot of manufacturers they're designed that way to keep that spin consistency on those off center heads. Yeah, yeah, for sure, and especially now you know they've had. Jailbreak has been a key part of Callaway's metal woods for a couple years now, and actually in the drivers for a few generations. They've changed it up a little bit, gone to instead of like kind of the two internal bars, they're now velocity blades, they call them. Just a little bit more spread out to kind of give that stability to more of the club head than just kind of that middle, uh, you know, piece of the club head, uh, the club face in the middle there. Um, now it's kind of spreading out to more of the club face. So if you do miss, like, let's say low heel or um, low toe or whatever the case may be, you'll get more stability there as well, in addition to the other areas that previous jailbreak did yep. provide. Yeah, retaining that energy is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to make sure that Bull does something very, very similar every yeah. single time. That's how, oh, we yeah. lower, that's how we lower golf scores. Yeah, oh, yeah absolutely. You got it. It's all about consistency, right? And hey, bring this up again. Consistency. Re consistent, you know, and Providing the same energy every time is tough to do, but getting the same, you know, consistent results is ultimately the, the, the you know, the goal. Yep. And so that's what these manufacturers are trying to do. And whether that is giving the same amount of energy every time, you're gonna miss it, or whether that's working different ways in the club head, new innovations to just get the same result, no matter how much energy is transferred. There's different ways to go about it, but ultimately it's about the result. Exactly. Let's hit one more and then we'll take a look at the Epic Max as well. Sweet. A little bit of a draw going on there. That was smoked. Yep. Nice. All right. Well, I think we're pretty close with that 260 gun and a 280. Yeah. I think you, with all those. You did pretty uh, well there. Jobs. And look how yep. consistent that carry is. Um, wanted to get your feedback on the look and feel. Um, maybe how it looks to previous generations of yep. uh, Callaway, Ferry Woods, and um, you know, can give your perspective on that. And I know you've actually played Callaway, Ferry Woods before, so maybe maybe let's go in the bag. Yeah, ni nice and nicely rounded. Um, looking looking down at it, for me, for sure, I like the the Epic Speed because it's more a little more compact. Doesn't have all that weight kind of push mm -hmm. push back. I like the the pear shape, the the more compact look at yeah. look at clubs looking down at them. Uh, I have played the the Maverick. The, for the last year, um, three wood, I actually played the thirteen and a half degree. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so even yeah. even still, this was performing pretty well, regardless of kind of distance there there as well. Reason why I went with thirteen and a half was because I was starting to hit my driver a little further. I needed my three wood to go there a little go. further. Need, need the and, gapping. <laughs> yep, need, needed the gapping, and then my utility iron was going two sixty. So, <laughs> yeah, they so needed some kind of good gapping in, in there as well. But yeah, looks very very good looking looking down at. Um, you know, it's very, very subtle with the, with the black contrast, a little, little bit of green and, and white on, on, but it's not a lot going on. Just the, just the little epic logo on the back of the club. Yeah. I like it. It, it looks good. It looks it's, good. Feels good. Yeah. It looks, looks very clean. Performed well. Did kind of what I was expecting to do. So. Well, that's what you want, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's when they, you know, when Callaway, you know, and tell you it's going to be explosive, low spinning, consistent, and then it delivers, that's what you want. So, um, now we can get to the... The Epic Max 5 wood. Okay. Um, we maybe will adjust uh, those weights on the sole a little bit. We'll start with kind of the standard, um, maybe the heavy weight in the back, and then we'll uh, get into some more testing there. Sounds good. So it's the Epic Max 5 wood. Now, this is built very similar to. I mean, the epic speed. There's a lot of, the, I mean, it's still, you've got the jailbreak um, velocity blades, it's still got the flash face SS21 yep. from artificial intelligence. So that stuff's all built in there. Um, it's just gonna be, you know, a little bit larger footprint, kind of more weight drop down and, and kind of deep into the club head. So you'll see, a, I would imagine, you'll see, especially with a being at five wood than three wood, um, you're going to see the high spin, the high launch, that type of thing. Yeah, we, we saw that right off the bat. Spin rate jumped over 4,000. For a three wood, I don't really want to have my, my, my spin rate that high, but that's kind of the spin I would expect out of a five wood, mm -hmm. around about that 4,000 mark there. 
You'll notice how the height stayed up. Even though I pulled that one a little bit, the height was still 121 feet. Mm. So very, very easy club to launch, especially when, with that weight in the back, yeah, true. for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it wasn't probably one of my best swings, but it really kind of got up in the air. That was low on the face, so that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Not bad, considering that's a, yeah. considering that's a, a five wood, I was expecting that spin rate to kind of really, really go up, because I feel yeah. like I hit that thing like pretty low. See, there's the velocity blades, the jailbreak uh, velocity blades doing their work there, keeping the, the performance consistent when you hit the lower part of the face there. Yep. Um, I mean, you can take a look at the carry dispersion quick, and you can see how it's very similar, the distance. Yeah. Uh, that the click on carried, the so. club face real quick. I just want to see if that picked up where I did hit that on the face. There you go. There you low. go. Low on the face. Low on the face. Spin, spin retention was pretty good. About 300 RPM. Yeah. More than the, the shot. That is pretty pull, darn is good. Because that felt really. Yeah. That was definitely low. Yeah. I mean, your other one was also a little bit low too. So. Yep. A little higher launch there. A little less spin on that one. That was good. That was, that was good too. Yep. Yeah. That's that's really good. That that spin was nice and low. That was, a, that was a good shot. Hardly any curve either. Yep. Height. Plenty of height, though. Oh, yeah. That might be a little higher. There we go. Yeah. That is going to land very softly on the green. Yeah. That's the first one we noticed that launch is a little higher. I feel mm -hmm. like it got that a little bit more solid. It yeah. wasn't as low on the face as the other kind of shots that they got there. That, um, was, that was good. So you've got four now with the, the heavier weight back. So that is, I believe it's a 14 gram weight and a two gram weight are the two you know, weights that they give you. Yep. Um, the 14 gram one in the back as of now. Maybe you want to move that forward. We can see how that changes things in the, uh, the Epic Max 5. All right. Let's switch that around. I said pretty well. That's pretty good. Yep. Spin rate just a little lower, about 400 RPMs yeah. lower than the average with the weight, with the heavy weight that was back. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good there. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty good there. That, I think, landed right on the flag. Yeah, that one felt like I just got just a tad low, but the spin rate just stayed a little bit under mm -hmm. 4,000, which is kind of important to know because when I cut a little low, when I had the weight, when I had the heavy weight back, yeah. you know, the spin rate was a little higher than 4,000. Right, yeah, yeah. Heads. A little higher spin there. A little more spin there. Yep. I mean, this is, with the, I mean, weight at whatever position, it's still a high spin club. Yeah, or, it's I still guess higher a, launch, higher. It's a five wood. Yeah, yep. forgiveness and a five wood, so. Uh, but, you know, I think you're hitting each one of these very straight with that nice little draw still, so. Yep. Nice, that one was hit real solid. Yeah, that's good. Yep. So now we can bring up these numbers quick. Hit four with each sort of setting in the Epic Max 5 wood. So you can see, um, you know, first of all, in terms of comparing the Epic Max, right, we can see how very similar your club speed was. Yep. And then we can move over and we can see the differences with that 14 gram weight, the heavier weight forward. That spin dropped a little bit. Your carry actually went up because it was more penetrating ball flight. Height dropped just a little bit as well. And then launch angle also is lower. So you're seeing the difference with that extra weight move forward in the club head versus all the way in the back. Yeah, it saved about 300 RPMs of spin. Now I know it's a very, very small sample size. Right, oh yeah. Didn't hit them perfect every single time because you know there's some left and right there with the Epic Max with the weight in the back. I would expect the weight in the back generally be able to hit it a little bit straighter. Yeah. Be a little bit okay. more kind of forgiving there there too. But that very, very small sample size. Yeah, yeah. This is just kind of in, initial testing because this is kind of all we've, all we've got so far to test with. Um, but very, very good. And that's that's just showing showcasing the difference in moving this weight around mm. with this. And this is a five wood. Be able to get that spin rate down about three hundred RPMs. Yeah. And that yeah. result resulted in about ten yards further total distance. Yeah, I think we, you know, I think we can see about 300-ish RPM difference with just those weights because even, I think I remember specifically, 
you know, that one shot you had with the weight back um, and the first series of five wood shots, when you hit it low on the face and it was like 4,300 RPM I spin, I believe, and then the shot, you had kind of a similar contact with the, the weight forward, it was about 39 or 4,000 maybe. Yep. For the, so you're seeing, you know, if you hit low on the face with the weight in the different settings, about three to 400 RPM difference, roughly, um, again, very uh, small sample size, but that's just initial testing, first look, uh, kind of the intro that we're seeing here um, from the Epic Speed and Epic Max Ferry Woods. Yeah, I think important to note there too, I, we, coming back to the, the Epic Speed is, you know, I play a three wood for a reason. I'm used to that three wood. It gives me better optimal numbers. Kind of looking at that east to west dispersion, so that white circle. Mm -hmm. Notice, we talked about how consistent it was around about that 260 carry yeah. every single time. I haven't hit a three, five wood and I don't have ever hit a five wood. Yeah. So five, five wood I don't play in my bag. You can see how I didn't quite hit the five wood as well, which is kind of interesting because you think it doesn't go as far, it should be a little tighter dispersion, but I just don't hit five wood as well. Yeah. Well, and <laughs> yeah. that is also the, the, the part of you know, our fittings, but also that we always understand our second swing is the, you know, the confidence that golfers feel looking at a club, um, how comfortable they are with a club and what they see at a dress matters a lot. And that's something that I know uh, the fitters here always give golfers a chance to express what they think about what a club looks like. And so that's an example for you with the five wood. You don't play that, you're not comfortable necessarily with it as much as you are with a three wood. Um, and so just things like that as well. But I mean, in terms of the raw performance here, um, Epic Max and Epic Speed Fairy Woods, I think they're both very, very good. Yeah, performed awesome. I think it's gonna be a great year with Epic Speed, Epic Max for, for, for Callaway with the Epic new Epic line. It's gonna be a great year. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, golfer is interested in one of these two Fairywood models for 2021. Uh, I would invite you to trade in your old Fairywood uh, that's in your bag uh, and take advantage of the highest traded values in the industry here at Second Swing in a store or through the value guide online at secondswing.com. Um, also, uh, you can subscribe to our channel for more reviews, more in-depth testing and comparing of golf clubs uh, here in 2021 and more in the future.